Welcome to the Broward County Parks and Recreation Mountain Biking Safety Video. You must view this safety warning before entering the trails. In 2006, the Florida Legislature approved a statute identifying mountain biking as an inherently dangerous activity and requiring riders 17 years old and younger to sign a waiver before entering and riding the trails. In 2008, Broward County expanded the waiver to all riders and mandated the viewing of the safety warning of the inherent dangers associated with mountain biking. Mountain biking, freestyle, BMX, and off-road cycling are activities with inherent risks and dangers. Which means, as soon as you step inside the gate with a bike, you could be seriously injured for a myriad of reasons from an overestimation of your own abilities, could be from another rider, could be that the terrain was altered by your weather, age, deterioration, or simply the trail changed from the last time you rode it. Your use of county mountain biking trails means you are assuming all inherent risks and dangers associated with such activities and frees the landowner, the Board of Broward County Commissioners, from all liability claims. No children under the age of 17 years without a written consent from their parents or legal guardian waiving all claims against releasing Broward County from all liability associated with the mountain biking activity. Anytime you are in the trails, you must have your Broward County mountain biking pass, helmet, and a mountain bike. Also allowed are BMX and dirt jumpers. E-bikes are not allowed on the Broward County mountain biking trails. Please make sure to wear a helmet. If you forget it at home, be prepared to leave to go get it or no ride. No excuses. Helmets are mandatory. We recommend you wear eye protection and gloves. Shin and elbow pads are also suggested. Mountain bike trails are marked by the degree of trail difficulty. A trail marked with a green circle is a novice beginner trail. These trails are wide and mostly flat with some loose surface and other natural obstacles. A novice trail requires a medium level of fitness and intermediate riding skills to safely ride. Signs marked with a blue square are intermediate trails. These trails have noticeable elevation changes on an uneven and loose surface and may exhibit exposed roots, rocks and other natural obstacles as well as low man-made structures. An intermediate trail requires advanced riding skills and a high level of fitness to safely navigate. When you have mastered all of those, you are ready for the advanced trail marked by a black diamond. An advanced trail has very noticeable and sometimes extreme elevation changes on a very uneven and loose surface containing many exposed roots, rocks and other natural obstacles as well as various man-made structures. An advanced trail requires technically advanced riding skills and an athletic level of fitness to safely ride. A trail marked with a triangle is an adaptive trail. Adaptive mountain bikes such as trike bikes, hand bikes, and wheelchair bikes for differently abled riders require a certain type of trail to be ridden. So these trails are wider than regular single track to accommodate such bikes. Use novice and intermediate or bypasses to go around difficult sections or features. Mountain bike patrol volunteers ride the trails to assist and educate the public. Please treat patrol members with respect and cooperate with their requests. In case of an injured rider and emergency personnel to be contacted, locate the emergency location identifier near you and give the EMS personnel the number on that identifier. Abide by all trail rules, regulations and closures. Only ride open trails. When the trails are muddy after a good South Florida rain shower, use of such trails are not advised as it will accelerate trail erosion and damage. The park usually will close the trails in such an event. If they are not closed, it is a good practice to not ride anyways if the trails are too wet. Ride within your limits. Avoid riding faster than what you are comfortable doing. Always be alert of your surroundings and anticipate obstacles and be cautious of blind corners. Do not block the entrance or exits of trails. In case you must stop in the middle of your ride, do not do so in the middle of the trails. This can be dangerous as a fast approaching rider may not see you until it is too late. When approaching a slower rider in the trails, let them know you are coming up behind them by letting them know you are approaching. Advise them which side you mean to pass. On your left. Vice versa. If you hear a faster rider approaching you from behind, let them know where you intend to move to the side. 
When listening to music while riding, please be courteous to others and do not choose a Bluetooth speaker. Choose bone conducting headphones or earbuds with only one in the ear so you can still hear your surroundings safely. Do not cut corners in the trails for a faster route. Ride the trail as it was intended. Poaching trails is unacceptable. When bringing food out with you, please do not litter. Find a trash bin or pack it out with you. If you see someone that might need a hand, why not lend yours? It could be something simple as to how to operate a hand pump, it may be that they need some water. Please be there to lend a hand when you can. These trails did not get here by magic. It took years of dedicated volunteer hours to make this all happen. If you would like to help out, go to the Markham Park or Quiet Waters Facebook page. There you may see an event pinned for the next scheduled trail maintenance day. You can also check the office to get information about volunteering. The trail days are usually the second and fourth Saturday or Sunday of the month. There you can get signed up as a volunteer and give back to the trails you ride. If you are new to the park and would like to find your way around, go to the YouTube channel XC Ben. There you can find videos of the trails under the playlist Markham Park Trail Guide. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching and have a great ride.